welcome guys um, from Australia well I've stuffed up I said I was going to do a battery test of my e giant E32 and I forgot to do it so I'm going to pop down somewhere nice now and do that battery test that I promised so apologies to everybody that uh, was waiting for a precise stopwatch battery test it's coming up this is just for you there's a brand new battery as I said before 550 million pounds so we're gonna plug her in so for this to be an accurate test for the clock I want to pretty well start flying the second uh, the battery's attached, so yeah, cue the editing. Okay, newsflash. Sometimes this thing is really hard to start up. Not too sure why. Yeah, it just is. But it's starting now. Sometimes it'll start first shot, sometimes it takes forever. So let's just make sure everything's hooked up again. Okay, we're off, <laughs> off and running finally. Yeah, clock started. Alrighty. That's the third time it's happened with this um, quad. It's, um, it's a lot of trouble starting the props up. So I'm not going to do anything silly here, guys. I'm just going to do a battery test to see how long the battery goes for. Um, if you fly it on the first setting, as you can see, I've got the sticks forward fully and little tiny breeze uh, struggles with it so let's um, put it on number two it tends to give it a little bit more poke all right screens running let's get the video capture going as I said no SD card so it's going directly to my mobile device just to give you guys an idea of the speed that I'm talking about here down there and you have a look at it. It's a go. And it's off. It's a cracker alright. It is a cracker. This thing flies. It's a good thing I'm out in the open here. <laughs> I'm predicting about seven minutes flight time but we'll soon see. Play around with the trimming a bit. Okay, that seems to have steadied things up a little bit. Quite a nice looking um, unit, this one. It's quite quiet. See it there, it's sort of uh, hovering. Of course, it's not a GPS drone, obviously. I'm about to chop my head off. <laughs> a little bit of wind there blowing it towards me. If she blows just there, you guys can hear that. Okay, let's do a speed run over there on the ground. Not on the ground, close to the ground. See how easy it is to control. A bit of a circle around. Please don't crash. At least you don't want to hit the ground. <laughs> Every time I do a battery test, I, for some reason I hit the ground. I've got to stop the clock and stuff around with my editing. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, here's one of those classic, it's um, not coming down moments. So down on the stick, and it's like, no, nah, I don't want to come down. I'm staying right there. So. I'm not too sure why it's doing that. Yes. It's like it's got a, um, a brain of its own, so... Oh, you might be in attack mode now. It's in attack mode. I am your friend. Do not attack me. Yeah, she's in attack mode. Okay. 
think I'll uh, just put it over there where I can keep it on better. Just do a couple of circles. There are a few um, tricks you can do, flips and waypoints and hoo-ha like that, but I've tried a uh, I've tried it on my mobile device and it doesn't seem to really do too much, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. But for an entry level startup quad 720p camera, it's yeah, she's pretty good fun. Shows you the Wi-Fi signal down there. Let's go for some height, shall we? Yeah, it's a good idea. Fly right in the sun so I can't see it. Yeah. Very smart. Very smart. Yeah, I'm not I'm not actually game to go up very high with this quad. I go up pretty high with a lot of my quads, but this one um yeah. Doesn't fill me with confidence. He gets down to about that height there and I'm pull down on the stick and just sort of stops its descent. Not sure why. If anybody knows anything about it, please help. It's a bit doughy on the controls, you know, you stop you stop doing something and it keeps on doing it. And I'm going to hit the tree. No, nearly hit the tree. Yeah, it's sort of doing... <laughs> nearly hit the tree then. It's just doing what it wants. Let's get out here in the open and sort it out. Alright, okay, it's come down here. Yeah, probably about five minutes now, something like that, I reckon. I'm doing well. Normally I've crashed by now. As I said, this is just a fly around, give you guys an idea of how long the battery lasts for on this uh, e shine E32. Okay, let's keep moving. Do I recommend this quad? Um, yeah, there are better ones on the market. I still think the E58 is better than this one. Uh, I've got plenty of those videos if you want to have a look. It's really easy to fly, super responsive, very reliable. Starts first shot. <laughs> this one here, every time I've started it, I've had trouble connecting it. I don't know why, I'm not sure. Let's go up here and have a bit of a scoot around. It's a fast quad this one. Look at her go. Yeah. <laughs> you do a manoeuvre, give yourself plenty of room because it takes about two seconds for it to cease that manoeuvre. So if you're actually going towards some trees, it will continue going towards those trees until uh, eventually you're going to hit it. And once you do a fast manoeuvre, it um, tends to shut you out because I'm trying to come down now and it's, it's just not coming down or it's coming down very slowly now the yours and the forward reverses are excellent uh, if anything they're too good but yeah that's for that other gear I'm not too sure when it gets to this height yeah no, no probs you can see we're going up and down quite easily and hmm, could be out of power Lord just hit the ground. No, it just hit the ground. No, we're getting low on batteries. Stop the clock. <laughs> no warning. Some flashing lights there. But apart from that, no real warning that you're running low on power, as you could see. So it just crashes, crashes and burns without any warning. So 
Yeah, look. Again, good quad. Successful battery test. Not a bad unit, guys. As I said, the E58 is a bit better. It's got an on-off button there. Um, it does hook up a lot easier. Uh, it's not so doughy on the controls. Uh, just seems like a better built unit. And it's actually a bit cheaper than this one too. So anyway, it was good. So battery test, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, thumbs up, comment. All the usual stuff. Good work. Take it easy. And uh, see you in the sky. Bye for now.